stop the FOMO, CES 2023 is finally here. Do you have a fear of missing out on all the surprise announcements and unexpected TV launches at CES? Wait, unexpected surprise announcements? There may be an OLED TV equipped with MLA in 2023 after all. And what other surprises are in store for you at CES? We're talking about unexpected TV launches and more. So hang on as we list the ways that CES is going to be awesome for TV enthusiasts. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best. And sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Let's quickly go through the activation process after you've purchased Windows 10 on WhoKeys. Go to your WhoKeys account and select My Purchased Orders. See your order? To the far right, click on the button that says View Keys Codes to see the Windows CD code. At the bottom of this order where it says Code Card, to the right is the product key you need to activate Windows. So copy this long number, then go to the Windows menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu, at the bottom, select Update and Security. Select Activation, then select Change Product Key, paste what you copied from WhoKeys, click Next, click Activate, and you're done. You can download the Windows 10 Pro key, and you're up and running. But that's not all, folks. WhoKeys has keys for games, too. Steam, Origin, Uplay, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. Let's start with the biggest surprise for me since I put up the video saying that, hey, LG Display does not have MLA ready. It's got issues. They're pushing it off until 2024. And yet, our friends at FlatPanelsHD.com has hinted that possibly LG will release an OLED TV with the MLA technology this year in 2023. This is huge because, as we've said it over and over, OLED TVs have moved to the latest technology, QD OLED, because it's brighter, better color saturation, peak brightness, on and on and on. How does LG respond? And what did we say? They needed to have MLA now, in 2023. When I heard that they pushed off to 2024 because of uniformity issues, I was disappointed, like many of you. However, maybe not because LG Display knows its survival may be at stake. We're talking LG Display is 100% bought into OLED, right? It shut down all of its LCD facilities and focusing only on OLED. But if it's focusing on a technology that's already being surpassed by Samsung, it's in deep trouble. It must do something, and that something is MLA. Meta Lit Lens Array, Micro Lens Array, whatever MLA really stands for. It's a bunch of beads, glass beads in front of the panel to focus all that light capture scattered light and focus it forward. Now, MLA had two issues that they were fixing or spending vacation fixing, hopefully, that was not ready for 2023 released at the time I put out the video, which was specifically one, splotchiness, right? The glass was not aligned so that all the lights uniform. And number two, off angle, some have said color saturation is washed out because it's very specific to the angle, right? That light comes in, moves straight forward. But what if you're off angle? How washed out is it? Is it any worse than a VA panel off angle viewing, right? So if LG has fixed those two things for release, this could be promising. But if it doesn't and it rushed it out to release, would you rather wait for MLA to be 100% ready to go or let LG rush to market and you're going to be a first adopter to try it out. What about Samsung's QD OLED? We're hearing signs that they also improved it, not to the same way that MLA would improve it. However, definitely they are readjusting their chemistry, their subpixel in a way to make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more efficient and less expensive to make. So we have MLA on LG's OLED and Samsung's QD OLED, possibly a little bit brighter, definitely a little bit less expensive. It's going to be a clash, but what about Sony? Sony's kept their information very close to the vest, but I am going to boldly predict, I don't know how bold it is, two things for Sony's OLED lineup. First, 
I believe they will have a 77 inch. Second, I believe that 77 inch will not have a heat sink to keep it affordable, which means it may be the A85 series, right? We know that the A80 series last year was a regular LG W OLED. This year, maybe they call it 85, it's QD OLED, but without a heat sink, it could be more affordable. And oh, hey, if you guys wanna stay up with the latest breaking news and our live streams at CES, check it out we're going to have it posted uh, on my channel so subscribe you'll be alerted we're going to have live streams on wednesday january 4th and booth tours going throughout the day exploring ces with you on january 5th when ces officially opens we might have surprise live streams if we can get behind the scenes in vip rooms so definitely subscribe and be alerted to all the great things happening at ces 2023 this year but my excitement is not just limited to the big three. What about Hisense, TCL, and Skyworth? Hisense, we know, did a great job last year, but that was not its flagship. The U8 for the USA, as good as it was, was actually better in China. Will they bring that TV to the US? TCL, we had hoped the 8 series would arrive. The 8 series also has over a thousand dimming zones at a 65 inch size, designed to beat the QN900B. In the US, the 8 series, did not happen in 2022, maybe it will in 2023, and Skyworth. Are they really coming to the US? I can say for sure they are, because I received their 75 inch, 3000 nit TV. It is brighter than Samsung's brightest TV, the Terrace. It's gonna sear my eyeballs, so that review is coming. Let's just say I haven't even opened the box yet. Why not? The thing is over 220 pounds. That's a heat sink. <laughs> So we'll see. Is it mostly pallet and a box that's over 220 pounds? This is the heaviest TV I've ever seen. And that's why I haven't opened it yet. I need a lot of help to get this thing ready to go for a review. But that's coming in a month. Regardless, we're going to have a lot of exciting announcements to discover together at CES 2023. So don't forget to subscribe for alerts. And then after this, I'm going to post links to the live streams to come this week. And let me know in the comments below, what questions do you have for CES? What excites you most? Are you waiting for 2023 before you get a new TV? And if you are, what size, what technology? Until next time, stop the FOMO.